What is up everybody and welcome back to another video. So today's video I'm going to be talking to you about something a lot of players complain about which is that they feel like they're doing the right things. They feel like they're putting a lot of time into the game that they're doing the right practice method but for some reason they just can't seem to improve. That's a very common issue players have and in today's video I'm going to be addressing that and showing you guys exactly why you're not improving at Fortnite and how to improve fast. This video is going to have 4 different sections and 4 different tips and overall by following all 4 of these tips you should be finding yourself improving much faster and breaking out of any skill stage you might be facing. Now let's get into today's video. The first issue a lot of players have is that they repeat bad habits. This is one of the com most common issues. You may have bad habits in any capacity. Maybe you take a lot of 50-50 edits, maybe you forgot to heal up in fights, maybe you waste materials when you don't need to, or any other of number of things. The big issue with repeating bad habits is this. The longer you have a habit, the harder is it to break. So if you find yourself making the same mistake over and over and having these bad habits, I would recommend that you focus on breaking those habits as fast as possible. The way I typically recommend fixing this is very, very simple. All you want to do is call yourself out whenever you do these bad habits and you want to actively avoid it while you play. For example, if you take a lot of 50-50 edits in a the fight, then while you're fighting, you want to think, alright, how can I approach this that wouldn't put me in a 50-50 and overall by kind of of just having that in your mind during your fight that should help another thing that is helpful in terms of bad habits is to look in replay mode to figure out exactly what happened and why you did it a lot of time we have these bad habits and we don't exactly know why we do them we just know that we do them and looking at the replay and figuring out what happened can give some reinforcement and help you understand why you do these habits and give you a better idea as how to fix them i know a lot of you guys don't like what reviewing but but if you find yourself doing a lot of bad habits, which most players do, I recommend you give it that, that shot. Either way though, if you do find yourself making a lot of the same mistake over and over again, then this is something you're going to want to patch up as soon as possible. That way this issue don't spiral and continue costing your games, losing. The sooner you fix them, the better. So I recommend you get on that. The second issue a lot of players have is that they are not practicing efficiently. This is probably one of the biggest issues see players making. They spend a lot of time practicing but they are not doing it in a way that helps him improve. They are not practicing the right way, they are not spending their time efficiently, they might practice too much, they might practice too little, they might not practice certain things. There are a whole bunch of issues when it comes to practicing. And so what I typically recommend for players is this. You want to have a well-rounded practice routine. You don't just want to sit in creative and practice your mechanics. That's only one aspect of it. What I typically recommend is a combination of three things. You have the mechanical part practice, you have the creative aim training, and then you have the real game experience. All three of things are very important if you want to improve quickly. In terms how much time you should spend on each, it depends on your goals and preference. But as a very general rule, let's say you're practicing for five hours a day. What I typically recommend is you spend about 30 minutes of that on aim training, about an hour of that on practice, about 30 minutes on creative fights like zone wars or tilted and then the other 3 hours just playing regular games. This is just a very general recommendation but if it gives you an idea of how you should break it up. And of course you should also be incorporating other learning resources into your practice such as VOD reviews or educational content. The goal is to make your practice as efficient and effective as possible. You want to make sure you are practicing the right way and not wasting time on things that aren't going to help you improve. So be sure to optimize your practice routine and don't fall into the trap of inefficient practice. The third mistake that a lot of players do is that they rely too heavily on specific items in the game. Now, I'm sure you guys have all seen this. Whenever there's a new item that comes out, everyone is like, Oh, this is so OP. This is amazing. If I get this item, I'm gonna win every single game. And while yes, this item can be very powerful, and yes, they can help you win games, you don't want to be become reliant on them. You don't want to become too dependent on having a specific item to win. The reason for this is that 
the meta is always changing. Items are constantly getting nerfed, buffed, or even vaulted. So if you rely too heavily on a specific item and then that item gets nerfed or vaulted, you're gonna be in a very tough spot. You're gonna have to completely relearn how to play the game without that item. And that's not the situation you want to be in. Instead, what I recommend is that you focus on improving your skills with a variety of weapons and items. Yes, you can use those powerful items when you have them, but make sure you're also efficient with the fundamental skills. Make sure you're good with ARs, make sure you're good to with shotguns, make sure you're good with just the basic weapons that you're always gonna have access to in the map, no matter what the meta is. That way you're not gonna be caught off guard when an item get nerfed or vaulted and you'll be able to adapt much more easily. So don't become too reliant on specific items, make sure you're well rounded in your skills and that way you'll be able to perform well in any situation regardless of the items you have to access to. The fourth and final tip I have for you guys today is to work on your mental game and mindset. This is something that a lot of players overlook, but it's incredibly important for improvement. Having a strong mental game can be the difference between winning and losing, between performing well under pressure and choking in crucial moments. One of the key aspects of mental games is confidence. You need to believe in yourself you need to, and your abilities. Trust that you put in the time and effort and improve. One of the key aspect of your mental game is confidence. You need to believe in yourself and your abilities. Trust that you have put in the time and effort to improve and that you have what it takes to succeed. Don't let negative thoughts, self-doubt hold you back. Instead, focus on positive self-talk and building up a strong mental foundation. I got a few tips and that would be A, to believe in yourself, say to yourself, yes, I'm gonna make it, I'm gonna clap them, I'm gonna clap them cheeks. Whatever the idea comes up, depends on you, but for me, I say always, clap them cheeks, I'm gonna easy clap him, he's a bot, and never self-doubt you. Another important aspect is resilience. Fortnite can be frustrating games at times, and you're bound to face setbacks and failures along the way. It's crucial to develop the ability to bounce back from these challenges, learn from them, and keep pushing forward. Don't let a bad game or losing streak discourage you. Instead, view them as an opportunity for growth and learning. It's basically a win-win situation if you lose or win. Additionally, maintaining a healthy balance in your life is essential for your mental well-being. Make sure to take breaks, get enough sleep, eat well, and engage in activity outside of Fortnite, like touching grass. Remember that improving at the game is a marathon, not a sprint. Taking care of your overall well-being contribute to your performance in the game as well. Like if you don't sleep early, like sleeping only two hours, you'll be moody, you'll be tired, and etc. So you better sleep and touch some grass. In conclusion, by focusing on breaking bad habits, optimizing your practice method, avoiding reliance on specific items, and working on your mental game and mindset, you'll be able to improve much faster than Fortnite. Remember that improve takes time and effort, so be patient with yourself and keep pushing forward. Comment grass in the comments if you made it this far.